Hey there, electric enthusiasts. Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, your go-to channel for all things zapping, shocking, and powering up your life in the most electrifying ways. If you're plugging into today's episode, you're in for a current affair because we're diving into the world of voltage compatibility. Ever had a powerful 220V appliance and only a humble 110V outlet to plug it into? Stick around, and let's solve this puzzle together. First off, let's break down the basics. Voltage is essentially the pressure from an electrical circuit's power source that pushes charged electrons through conducting wires, powering our devices. In the US, standard outlets deliver 110V to 120V, perfect for your everyday gadgets. But what about appliances designed for 220V, commonly found in many parts of the world? Plugging these directly into a 110V socket is like trying to fill a pool with a garden hose, it's just not enough power. So, what's the workaround? Enter voltage converters and transformers, the superheroes of our story. A voltage converter changes the voltage of an electrical power source and can handle short-term usage or smaller appliances with a low wattage requirement. Meanwhile, transformers are the heavy lifters, ideal for long-term use or high-power appliances, ensuring they run smoothly and safely on our 110V system. But wait, there's more. Before you rush out to grab one, it's crucial to check your appliance's wattage. Why? Because you need to ensure your converter or transformer can handle the load. Simply put, if your appliance draws more power than the converter or transformer can provide, you're looking at a potential safety hazard, or at the very least, an appliance that won't work as it should. Now, for the techie bit, understanding wattage and capacity. Say your 220V appliance uses 1000 watts. To safely convert this to 110V, you'll need a converter or transformer with a higher wattage rating, typically around 20 to 30% more just to have a safety buffer. So, for a 1000 watt appliance, aim for a converter or transformer rated at least 1200 to 1300 watts. Oh, and before we wrap up, let's not forget about another crucial piece of the electrical puzzle, frequency. In the electrifying world of appliances, frequency matters just as much as voltage. You see, in the United States, our electrical systems operate at 60 Hz, which means the current changes direction 60 times per second. But, Many appliances designed for 220V systems overseas run on 50 Hz. Now, you might be wondering, can frequency differences cause a problem? Absolutely. While a voltage converter or transformer can adjust the voltage, changing the frequency is a whole different story. Most motor-driven appliances, like some fans and refrigerators, really care about frequency because it affects their speed and performance. Use them with the wrong frequency, and you could end up with a motor running faster or slower than intended leading to overheating or underperformance. So, what's the solution for frequency fuss? Enter frequency converters, the niche but nifty devices that can change the incoming electrical frequency to match your appliance's needs. They're like translators, making sure your appliance and the electrical supply are speaking the same language. But, keep in mind, frequency converters can be pricey and are usually reserved for specific, sensitive equipment. Alright, savvy viewers, let's tackle a common question that might spark your interest. What happens if I plug a 220V appliance into a 110V outlet? It's a scenario many of us might accidentally find ourselves in, especially when dealing with gadgets from abroad. So, let's dissect the outcomes and see which appliances might run and which could face a gloomy day. Imagine plugging a 220V appliance into a 110V outlet. It's like expecting a sprinter to race on half a lung, the performance just isn't going to be there. The appliance is designed to operate on a higher voltage, which means it won't receive enough power to function as intended. But what does this actually mean for different types of appliances? Let's dive in. On one hand, we have motor-driven appliances, think fans, refrigerators, and washing machines. Plugging these into a lower voltage won't necessarily damage them immediately, but they'll underperform draw more current and overheat. Appliances with heavy loads like compressors of fridges and air conditioners are more likely to burn out if run for a long time. Your fan is turning slowly, it could be due to insufficient voltage. Although this may not immediately damage your fan, it is still considered a light load and may lead to damage in the future. To avoid such issues, it is recommended that you check the power source and make sure that your fan is getting the necessary amount of voltage. On the flip side, resistive appliances, like toasters, irons, and some heaters, rely on a resistance element to generate heat. Using them on a lower voltage means they'll produce less heat, taking longer to toast your bread or iron your clothes. While not ideal, it's less about damage and more about diminished effectiveness. Take this little guy, a simple 220V lamp. Plug it into 110V, and the worst you'll see is a dimmer light, hardly the end of the world. But, 
it's a different story for appliances that rely on a specific voltage for optimal performance. Prevention and solutions. One such situation could be connecting a 220 volts appliance to a 110 volts outlet. It may seem like a good idea, but in reality, it can lead to damaging the appliance. When you connect an appliance that is designed to operate at 220 volts to a 110 volts outlet, the voltage difference can cause an overcurrent flow through the circuits of the appliance, leading to overheating and potentially damaging motors and other components. This could result in an irreparable damage to the appliance, which can be a frustrating experience. However, don't worry. If you find yourself in such a situation, there may still be hope. Sometimes, the damage may only be limited to certain components of the appliance and can be repaired. But, in other cases, the damage may be extensive and irreparable. That's why it's always a good idea to consult a professional technician or electrician for a thorough assessment of the damage and repair options. They can help you determine the extent of the damage and suggest the best course of action, saving you from further trouble. It's also important to remember that prevention is better than cure. Always make sure to use appliances with the correct voltage to avoid such issues in the future. It's a simple step that can save you a lot of trouble and money in the long run. So, the next time you encounter a voltage difference issue, don't panic. Just remember to consult a professional and use appliances with the correct voltage to avoid damaging them. Are you prepared to take your appliances to new heights while safeguarding their functionality? Explore the depths of our video description below to uncover our ultimate recommendation for a voltage converter, unlocking boundless possibilities for your gadgets across varying voltage environments. Don't let incompatible outlets dim your electrical ambitions, equip yourself with the perfect converter and watch your devices thrive on any power grid. And remember, before embarking on your international appliance journey or acquiring gadgets from afar, always double-check the voltage compatibility of your devices. Keep in mind that some appliances are dual voltage, offering versatility across different power standards. Prioritize safety and efficiency by ensuring you have the necessary converters or transformers to seamlessly navigate the global electrical landscape. Now, here's the kicker, while underpowering these appliances doesn't always cause immediate damage, prolonged use under these conditions can lead to inefficiency, increased wear, and ultimately, compromise the lifespan and performance of your beloved devices. Thank you so much for watching our video on using a 220 volts appliance on a 110 volts outlet. We hope you found the information helpful and informative. Remember, dealing with electrical appliances and voltage can be tricky, so always prioritize safety first. If you're ever unsure about anything, it's best to consult with a qualified electrician to ensure you're making the right connections and avoiding any potential hazards. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with your friends and family and subscribing to our channel for more helpful tips and tutorials on electrical safety and appliance usage. We love providing valuable content to our viewers, and your support helps us continue doing what we love. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We always appreciate hearing from our audience. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, remember to stay informed, stay safe, and stay powered up.